The beginning of the campaign has been stunted by injuries for St Albans, one of them being today's co-commentator for this one, Ben Smith. Ben, it's been a tough start to the season and a strange summer in some respects. What is the mood like around the club with the situation being how it is at the moment? No, look, I think it's very positive. The boys know the standard that we can get to and we truly believe that you know the tables will turn. Football's a, a tough game, but it's 46 games in a season, so I have no doubt that we're going to turn it around and hopefully soon. Torquay collect it in their own half and float it over the halfway line. It's good defending, is it? It's challenge just inside this Northern City half and it's just a bit of head tennis at the moment as Rizzullo takes it down with his head and looks to clip it forward for Sean Jeffers who might be in here it's a chance for Sean Jeffers but Hammer managed to came out to come out and claim it it's thrown in by Carson and can Carson look to deliver on the left foot he will win a corner out of it keep our levels high and make sure that we don't concede from from silly a silly goal from whether that's from a corner or a, a free kick a set piece um, just got to try and build on the momentum that we've created already. Ooh, and that was potentially dangerous for St Alden City. It was a floated corner towards the back stick. And those two centre-backs from St Alden City probably seen the ball more than any other player wearing pink today. But what a ball that is and it's a real chance for Zane Banton to take it around the goalkeeper and he plays it back into Sean Jeffers. And what a bit of defending that is from Torquay United to stop what looked like a certain goal for the St Alden City number nine. Zane Banton pirouettes away from his man and then lays it back to Deadfield he plays a left footed switch out towards Jack James and it was really nice football back from St Albans City to get themselves up the pitch and now a lovely ball into the path of Giro Rizzullo can he square the ball he doesn't he takes the shot and it was a good save from Hammond but that was a real real chance and Sean Jeffers was absolutely free at the back post Rizzullo didn't see him and went for the effort and it was a good save but now here come Torquay United down the other end and Sinead's laid it back and now Torquay United have gone down the other end and made it 1-0 after a real clear-cut opportunity for St Alton City wasn't taken. Yeah, the momentum swung massively there in that 10, 15 second period. We had a great opportunity to score there with Jiro Sudo. They go down the other end and clinical finish. Jack James helping it down the line really well as well. And now St Alton's starting to get some more fluidity into their game. Sean Jeffers couldn't get the ball out of his feet and well it was a risky tackle but a tackle well made as Northern City had half-hearted shouts for a penalty waved away but have won the ball back they're really putting pressure on Torquay United now and now Zane Banton's got a little bit of space to hit a left-footed strike and it's gone in it's a fantastic goal from Zane Banton from about 25 yards out with his left foot zings it into the bottom left-hand corner and to Northern City find themselves level Absolute great strike there from St. Banton with his left foot. Keeper had no chance. Well, we can see the uh, the 15 or so St. Alden City fans absolutely love that one. Brought the away side back level. Plenty of time to find a winner for this one. And the refs finally giving a free hit for some kind of physical altercation. Looks to be reaching for his pocket again. It's a, it's a red card for St. Banton. And that changes things. The Torquay's player's argument was that his elbow was up. What some Orleans don't want to happen is that they keep dropping deeper and deeper and then Torquay almost becomes a bit of a training session for them where just they get waves of attacks. And it's a real chance and it was a massive opportunity for Torquay United in the penalty area. It's another opportunity for a delivery to come in. It's not a bad one either, but great header from Long King. And Rizzullo gets taken out of the game with a nice little bit of skill from Musa and he escapes the second challenge as well. Can he get the delivery in? Canadi's not going to let him get past him that easy. And Rizzullo comes over to help. Well, Musa does really well though. And Canadi does fantastic to recover and will be a corner kick. Some more nervous moments for the St Albans City. And it's whipped in, it's bobbling around the box a bit. Dead film. It's a bit of a wrestling match going on there. It's played back in towards the six yard box and Michael Johnson will be very relieved to see that ball land in his hands. Still piling on the pressure. And a chance for Collins to, to get the delivery in. It's played down the line. Musa can look to deliver. Ooh, it was a risky challenge. The referee says no. And that, when, they, when he went to floor, when he went to the ground, I thought the referee was going to point to the spot. But They need to get their players back and they have done two banks of four sat 
relatively close to each other as Torquay come forward again. Tonks plays it down the line and Collins looks to deliver. It comes all the way to the back post and it was a, it was a difficult one when it comes to you like that. But Torquay United couldn't capitalise on it. Torquay United pushing forward through Collins. He looks to play Tonks down the right-hand side. He looks for the right-footed delivery and again, Deadfield coming back and dealing with it. And now this is really the nervous nervous times for St Albans City and they've dealt with them well all day as it's whipped in towards the back post and it was a talky head who got to it but kind of bounced in the wrong direction and it will be a St Albans City goal kick uh, we won't have time for that because it will be full time here one all a really good game of football St Albans City Played fantastically throughout, responded well to going a goal down, and then it finishes one all here. Ben, what did you think of that game today? I think good performance from St Albans there. I think going down to 10 men, sometimes it's easy to think that you've got no chance and you're going to concede, but the reaction was, was top notch. Next Saturday, St Albans City in the FA Cup against Goldston, um, and they play at Yarmouth Ground, so another long trip for the Saints. So, any away fans who uh, want to start planning for that one? And thank you very much for listening. One all here between Torquay United and St Albans.